Good morning to everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to connect with you, albeit virtually. I was planning and very much looking forward to being physically present at the RRI, which I personally like a lot. However, sudden commitments in Delhi have come up and that require my presence elsewhere. I consider this both as an honor and a privilege to address this gathering on this momentous occasion as the Raman Research Institute, an institute with a rich history and legacy founded by the Indian Nobel Laureate Sir C. V. Raman enters into the 75th year of its existence. I extend my warm greetings to the distinguished luminaries gathered here for this special occasion. I extend my greetings to the directors of other institutes who have graced this occasion both virtually and physically. All the friends and special invitees, the wonderful faculty of RRI who made this event a proud institute for all of us, young research scholars, the PhD students and all other members of the institute. I also thank Professor Tarun Saurabhip for his kind invitation extended to me to be the chief guest of this event. DST and Raman Institute have had a long relationship, in fact the longest. RRI is the first autonomous institute to be funded by the then newly formed Department of Science and Technology. I am happy to note as the institute enters into its 75th year, DST and RRI has clocked 50 years of togetherness. I am immensely pleased to note that RRI is celebrating its Platinum Jubilee year under the banner of the hugely successful Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, a perusal of the calendar of events, reveals a truly impressive list that includes five major international conferences, important lectures, a conference that focused exclusively on the Indian women researchers, providing them a platform to network and develop in their careers in line with the Government of India's initiatives of equity and inclusion, a set of outreach events with the goal of inspiring the next generation to take up careers in science and myriad of other such events. My first visit to RRI was in June 2022. Soon after, I assumed the responsibilities as Secretary of DST and lockdown slowly has been taken away. During my visit, I had long and free-flowing interactions with the staff of this important institute along with scientists and other faculty. This helped me to grasp the first hand the impressive breadth of research at the institute from the very large on the scale of universe to the very small on the scale of atoms and the cluster of quantum laboratories that are leading the nation's coordinated efforts towards erasing quantum enabled technologies. During my visit, I spoke about how RRI can establish the scientific collaborations with our strategic partners like ISRO, DRDO, and also specifically how the unique tradition of individual research excellence coupled with the technological capabilities that exist at RRI can be best used in these collaborations. I'm happy to note that there are already many collaborative programs amongst us. The robust ISRO RRI collaboration in the areas such as X-ray astronomy, via Polix and X-ray polarimeter, which when launched will be the first such emission in the world ahead of NASA and ESA. And in the near future, in radio astronomy, where RRI is attempting an ambitious project to put a radiometer on the far side of the moon. I'm aware that RRI is also playing a leadership role in satellite-based quantum communications, again in collaboration with ISRO, and I'm very happy and looking forward excitingly towards these collaborations. I'm also uh, fond of this institute's interest in the national uh, security work. In this context, I'm very pleased to note that a senior level delegation from DST recently visited RRI and explored initiatives that RRI can take in the quantum communication, quantum security, and other quantum enabled technologies. I also interacted with the theoretical physicists at the institute and visited the labs that study soft and living matter. Along with these excellent fundamental research initiatives, I would also like to see RRI conduct research that has direct benefits to society, for example, in the areas of health and related industries. This year is also a celebration of the achievements of the faculty and scientists of RRI, who in the past 75 years have contributed to the nation building and are the inheritors of an ancient culture that has always given due importance to science and technology of which this institute's founder, Sir C. V. Raman, is a modern day example. 
Since it was set up, the Department of Science and Technology has played an important role in the promotion of science and technology in the country. And I call upon the faculty of the Rahman Research Institute to continue striving towards making India a global center for research and innovation. Ultimately, RRI should be what the dawn of Indian science, Sir C. V. Raman, wanted it to be. I quote his words here. The institute must blossom into a great center of learning, embracing many branches of science. Scientists from different parts of India and from all over the world must be attracted to it. I feel that the institute offers a perfect nucleus for the growth of a center of higher learning. I congratulate RRI as it enters into the 75th year of its existence and wish that it maintains the high standards and continues its contributions to nation building via its demonstrated scientific excellence in fundamental research for many more years to come. Thank you. Jai Hind.